Hi, I'm Ashmeet with 12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your login and registration script better from the ones that I have provided. So, I have got open here a login.php and register.php from the website and I'm going to show you how to just improve this slightly and just to make it a little bit better and more neater. So first of all, we'll start with the registration script seeing as that's what people use first. Um, so first of all, every reporting, we're going to take that out. Um, we're still going to keep this if um, post submit because we've got our form down here. Um, we can still keep the form the same. Um, now here, around all these, we're just going to put some MySQL underscore. Um, my mind's just gone blank. Escape real string. Or is it real escape string? Escape. There we go. And basically we're just going to put that around all of these what we get from the user. And this just adds some security to the script. Let me just do this. Okay. And um encrypted the password there. Okay, so now we've got if username and if name, username, password, and password one exists. So, okay. So if if it doesn't exist, if we've not entered all the fields, else echo. I like to just put this in um, its own block. Um, basically, I just move it down, bring that out like that. Just have it like that. Um, so now we're going to, this is the part we're going to be modifying the most now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here and start fresh. So what I'm going to do is create an if statement to say if str length, which is string length of name, is, um, I'm going to put less than 30, which means we're going to run um, we're going to carry on running code here. Carry on. Else, we're going to echo out to the user. Basically, just this here. So, copy, paste that in there, and then we can therefore delete that. Um, so, now in here, once again, we're just going to create this. If, but this time, if it is. Um, Okay. Else echo in here. Your username. Your name is too long. Or oh, your username, sorry. That goes there and it's that on there. Okay. And now we're going to carry on just basically running the script that we've got here. So if Put it in. Um, sorry, that's in the wrong place. That goes there. So if and basically you just put in everything the reverse way round. So instead of having that there like that, you just swap in them around and then in an else statement. Underneath this, this is where you're just going to move this down into there, and just going to carry on basically through each if statement. Um, so now we can say um, this one is basically done for you, I think, like we did this right originally. Let's just have a quick check. If password equals password, meaning the same, once you cry the DBC file. Um, we don't need to put query there, we don't need to put it in a um, variable. Um, if it's done, dive register is complete. You don't have to put dive. If you're using a page, um, then you can just put echo. So if I just take echo, 
like that. Um, what else have we got down here? Else, we can get rid of that. Else. Okay, and that's pretty much a lot more better than the old script. We've got a few bit of security up here, just so we prevent um, SQL injection. Um, and it's nicely set out in a nice little way, so you can see in the security checks that we're actually going through before we actually register a user. Um, now, if you remember in the last, in the other script, um, it was done a bit awkwardly. So, um, basically, it did something, but then didn't do anything else. This basically does something. It either carries on or it stops the script running if you know what I mean so this is a much better way of writing the script than the other one and so I'm just going to save that now and I will put that I will replace this in the uploads so you can now download register and um, now on to login.php this is a little more better but for this one um, I didn't use an encrypted password like in register we entered an encrypted password on login I didn't encrypt the password so what we're going to do is enc underscore password is equal to md5 and okay, password. Okay, so we should create a password there. And once again, mysql underscore. You know, I'm just going to put that in there just to prevent some SQL injection that may be happening. Okay, um, so if see how I've done this one all right first time really, and um, so if username and password else, once again I'm just going to bring this down into a block of its own. Else die, um, otherwise, uh, basically what we can do is echo instead of die, and then um, the user can still be typing into the text boxes. Or they would have to go back. If you want to um, bring it back to the index page, basically you would just have to create a header um, location um, index.php, then error equals, um, then this way you would type it now um, all fields are required. Okay, so if I just open up this in um, my local host uh, PHP. Okay, so now if I just click that, as you can see, um, as I didn't type anything, I got an it got brought back to index.php with an error there. So if I go onto index.php um, and then just type, then just have some PHP tags up here if if dollar underscore get error or we should be putting if is set echo dollar underscore get error okay so now if I save this out oops um as you can see if I just come back to index.php and also if I just put in a just put another echo in here, I'll just put a break onto there. Just like that. Okay, so now if I don't enter anything, um, as you can see we get all fields required in there and as you can see if and something wrong it goes to another page which um the user has to click back on. But if the user doesn't have to click back then we can just uh, do something like that. Okay, so that's not too bad now. So that's what I'm going to do from now on is put it in a header, actually. So, um, query, um, select all from where using its username. Yes, that's all good. Okay, so else. Okay, so what we're going to do is just copy this header, paste it before that, and then um, copy that and paste it 
like that, and then we can get rid of the uh, the die. Okay. Um, while that's getting from the database. Okay. So if username equals db username and password. So this is where we need the enc underscore password there. Um, echo logged in. Click here to enter the members area. If you want it to go straight to the members area, um, I'm just going to put a block out there just in case you want to keep that. Um, basically, just put a header and then just uh, location members.php, something like that. Um, actually, we need that. Oops, get it on. Cut that. You need that to be below the um, session if you redirecting straight away because if it was above it then you'd be redirecting without setting a session and therefore the user still will not be able to see the members area so what we're doing here is creating the session then redirecting the user else um, once again copy this correct password will go in there get rid of that okay so that's uh, a bit more better again um, it's still not the most advanced scripts but it does provide a little more security hence the um, preventing SQL injection and it just gives the script a better look and feel to what is happening you can see what is happening in the script now um, so I'm going to replace these two files um, for the ones that I have uploaded on the website so um, if you've used my old scripts I recommend you do use download these scripts because um, they do provide a bit better security but um, this is just a sort of information video really um, to let you know um, you should use MySQL real escape string just to add a bit more security uh, make sure you've set out the scripts in a nice neat way because um, if the script is all over the place then it's kind of hard to read if someone comes to look at it or um, you decide to actually want to change the script in any way then it's going to be difficult to you know read over unless you you actually know what you've done in the script. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in another tutorial.